Hello YouTube people, I am making this video for myself that sometime in the future I could look back in time and remember things how they were uh, because right now it's that time where I'm selling my old car and I have new car, new old car <laughs> so I just wanted to make a little video about my old car to have this kind of a memory you know instead of taking just a picture I am gonna make a video for myself <laughs> so I had this car for five years right now I have done 50,000 kilometers with this car and I can give you <laughs> fairly honest user experience on this Volkswagen product is this car a good car well surprisingly good so <laughs> surprisingly good so let me tell you several things that I like about this car and several things that I don't like about this car first of all fuel consumption it's 2 liter petrol 85 kilowatts and it has a liquid liquid propane gas system installed so it is when the engine is warm it switches automatically to propane and it runs on propane so for example if one liter of petrol costs one euro fifty uh, one liter of propane gas costs 55 cents so that's that's the ratio and it consumes basically the same amount of uh, propane as it consumes petrol maybe there is a difference in probably half of a liter difference I, I haven't noticed honestly over five five years of riding this car I have not noticed difference in fuel consumption between petrol and propane and in terms of the power <laughs> it doesn't have power either way but also it's on on propane or petrol doesn't matter it drives the same couldn't tell the difference doing blind test honestly very good BRC propane system so that's first very very good thing about this car it is super cheap to run incredibly cheap to run that's the last thing on my mind when I'm driving this car driving this car is the fuel consumption and how much it costs to drive it it's very cheap to drive on propane and by the way uh, the hole for, for for propane is right here so it's like very well done you don't even see that and propane tank is is right here well under this under this tray so I still have full full interior space except for the spare wheel <laughs> so another very very good thing about this car is actually its reliability over the period of five years I had only one expensive problem is that valve seals uh, have worn off and to fix valve seals it cost me uh, I believe if I remember correctly around 450 euros it started smoking in the mornings like I turn on the car and starts smoking for like 10 seconds till all the oil burns off from the combustion cylinders so after fixing valve seals no more problems the only another big problem was well big problem very cheap problem but big because it left me stranded uh, camshaft sensor broke and I had to get home by taxi so that was the only situation over the period of five years that this car left me stranded luckily not far from home <laughs> just few kilometers away from home other than that everything else is just maintenance you know disc uh, brake discs uh, brake pads rear shock absorbers uh, some suspension parts what else um, uh, I can't even come up with things what I have fixed on this car because it hasn't really broke much only essential maintenance things you know <laughs> I can't really complain that wow I had to change tires so I <laughs> there is nothing to tell you it's incredibly reliable car this is car from those times when cars were actually manufactured 
with huge margins in mind in my opinion <laughs> so this is one of those last cars that was still made properly that's why it is so reliable it's it's wonderful car honestly and it you know what it's economy car economy class car yet it still has some good things like it like it like if it was a little bit upper class like for example sound isolation on this car if you're driving like uh, 100 kilometers per hour okay speed 100 kilometers per hour it is not loud it is not loud inside when you're driving that that speed if tires are good if tires are good of course because tires make most of the noise in my experience and yeah what what was i talking about <laughs> what what i tried to say yeah good things good things about this car so uh sound isolation is surprisingly good for this level of a car also interior interior quality um let me sit inside dogs are barking interior quality is surprisingly not bad fairly soft materials around soft things to touch uh, this car has done 213,000 kilometers and steering wheel is still holding up fine gear knob is still still fine i mean interior quality is, is is pretty good actually even lower down there even lower down there it is still soft it is still soft nice to touch this this nice thing also so yeah nice things about this car you know i could tell you many many nice things about this car it's just generally good well-built car it's it, everybody knows that there is nothing new about that so let me tell you things that aren't so good about this car um, um those seats uh the cloth this is velour as as i understand this is velour cloth and it's it's very good in the winter it never got gets too cold it's very good in the summer never gets too too hot it's very soft and nice to touch it's very comfortable the problem is that i love animals and my mom has two dogs yeah they are <laughs> one dog is long hair so and at home where i live i have two long hair cats so i always am a little bit full of hair so whenever i sit in a car car gets full of animal hair and cleaning those seats is a nightmare it's very difficult to clean those seats so that's my major complaint but other than that i don't really have m more complaints about this car it's actually well built good car <laughs> sad thing is that it has started to rust that's that's the reason why i'm selling it the biggest hole is right here well it's still fixable you know those fix things still fixable that's why i'm selling it right now while it is still fixable i'm not don't want to wait till it's too late uh, i can still get some money for this car yeah this one bigger place other than that it's it's looking okay this side is pretty good only the driver's side gets a little bit of rust but yeah it's about time to sell this car now about two things that i like that they did to this car first thing is tires i specifically asked for highest tires uh, that the shop could fit so i got 205 60 r 16s 60 means these are pretty tall tires even though car is sitting rather tall as you can see but taller tires than this could start rubbing on the arches so as the shop told me these are pretty much the highest tires i can fit and the thing is that these tires have transformed the ride of this car previously they had 50s 205 205 50 right now it's 205 60. these are a lot more comfortable tires look i'm gonna swing car side to side you see most of the suspension work comes actually from the tire itself this car has become a lot more comfortable to ride with such tall tires very very good thing now another thing which i did to this car which 
I'm very, <laughs> very simple but very, very good thing is these pillows. Such a simple thing, but it just transforms the way you ride the car. <laughs> Let me sit inside. Yeah, let's clean my foot. So I sit inside the car and oh, instantly relaxing position. Like those pillows are just wonderful. I highly recommend if your car doesn't have good support to your head, get pillows, something like that. These are just wonderful, it's soft and every time i ride i just i just chill like that it's so good now i i couldn't drive without them like you, you have to hold your head all the time without those pillows this is so annoying when you get used to those pillows it's just oh my god i cannot live without them <laughs> they are great other than that i haven't done anything to this car so next thing audio system in this car is stock but it's pretty good especially those tweeters those tweeters right they're they're pretty good this car system audio system doesn't have bass uh, but mids and highs are actually pretty good it sounds nice you know i've been driving this bmw it has stock audio system and today i got into this car to drive and i was actually surprised how nice it sounds that bmw audio system sucks it doesn't have bass it doesn't have good treble it just doesn't it sounds muffled it it's it lacks definition but audio system in this golf it's actually decent it it only lacks clean bass but treble is nice treble is nice so yeah what other things electric windows uh, climate control works just fine cruise control also this is as you can see is manual uh, shifting gears in this car is actually very nice look one finger one finger just so precise so exact gear knob just falls into place like so so good look third gear not much of a wobble yeah it, it's it's pretty good what I don't like about shifting gears is that sorry for my bare foot it's very hot outside is that throttle pedal is a little bit far away and it's pretty short so whenever i try to downshift and heel and tow a thing do uh, with with my heel i can't really catch throttle it's very difficult to downshift with, with this car you know doing proper heel and tow thing while bmw has hold on a second i'm gonna show you it has throttle pedal that comes up from the ground and is very very easy to do heel and tow let me get inside the car let me show you look that's very good throttle pedal so whenever i'm downshifting it's very easy just kick the gas downshift kick the gas it's so good it's it comes so naturally with this car it's it's wonderful throttle pedal in this bmw it just provokes you to drive like a hooligan <laughs> but this golf it's nah it's fun car to drive don't get me wrong especially you know this is naturally aspirated petrol and this is diesel <laughs> i regret buying diesel like you couldn't believe i whenever i jump back to drive this petrol naturally aspirated golf even though you know for comparison this bmw has 500 newton meters and 173 kilowatts it's a beast it flies but it never feels fast it never feels fast because it's a, it's a diesel it doesn't have much of a rev range even though for a diesel it revs very nicely everything is okay but it's now nowhere near uh, to the petrol this thing loves to rev oh man <laughs> and it's very robust I, I i'm i drive the pretty much uh, heavy right foot and this car takes the beating like you couldn't believe it drives like a go-kart if you want to <laughs> so i i never really rev more than five and a half but it definitely feels very how to say it's very elastic it's very linear you know power is very linear and that makes very easy and fun to drive while power delivery on this car is very like big bump no power no power huge power no power <laughs> diesel for fun just sucks even the manual even manual even 500 newton meters i'm just not having fun with this car i'm having way more fun with this car 
half this 173 kilowatts 85 kilowatts yet this one car this one is more fun <laughs> just because it loves to rev and power delivery is linear so it's a lot more playful actually man this car is actually wonderful look at those headlamps i like them this is actually glass and they look good these ones are plastic it took me two days to restore them so that they look good two days and these ones i haven't done anything ever very beautiful headlamps look like some kind of you know from bentley <laughs> and generally speaking i just like the design of this car it's very simplistic but i like straight lines straight, straight lines and everything has all the design has fluidity everything just comes together and i love those flared arches G gives a little bit of a sporty look and overall this boxy shape i think it's timeless this car has aged very well it just looks cool it looks cool it's 25 hold on a second it's 1999 model okay so uh, this car is 24 years old and yeah it definitely looks old on the roads but it's it, it is at the point where it starts to look cool this car starts to look cool if it wouldn't rust like crazy i would definitely keep it this is a very cool car to have especially now when it's when it's so old you start noticing them on the road that oh look at this car it actually looks something different something cool from from the times from the past <laughs> so what what else would i like to tell you so in terms of reliability no complaints wonderful car fuel consumption also surprisingly good very cheap car to run nothing breaks oh, well bad things is just you know seats are velour and overall you know you know it's economic car things like for example it's not bad but there are plenty of things where it feels different like for example bmw 5 series Oh, that's completely different experience. It's like shutting down bank vault of some kind. Oh, that, that sounds just so good, so tough, so robust. Golf just doesn't have that. <laughs> but you know, it's a Golf. It's built to last. It's different kind of a car. Yeah, will I miss this car? Of course I will, of course I will. I gonna miss that experience that running this car is very cheap it's very reliable uh, drives relatively comfortable with those tall tires and generally it's just it's not a bad car to have some fun even though it doesn't have power but it likes to rev you know naturally aspirated petrol engine is always fun no matter how much power it has it's 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 always fun so yeah so this is my another purchase my another car which i'm gonna drive for who knows how long 530d i gonna it's it's real rear wheel drive i gonna have some struggle in the winter i'm afraid we'll see we'll see i probably should make a video about this car you know first impressions and all i have been driving it for two months only there are some very very good things like for example sitting in this car look at this overall design it's just like a cockpit you sit low and you feel surrounded like in some kind of cockpit it's just wonderful the interior of this car is just wonderful everything is nice to touch feels quality but there are things that i don't like about this car i could tell you very quickly is that this car has m sport suspension look two fingers cannot get inside between tire and arch in the rear yeah just two fingers this car rides like skateboard there is no suspension on bumpy roads in my area where i live it lies it rides like shit i regret buying sport suspension but <laughs> well buying such an old car you can't really choose much you just buy the one you find in good condition that's simple as that yeah but sport suspension is not so great not so great while i'm used to driving like this look how much suspension like my whole fist fits inside yeah it's 
you know car is sitting a little bit sideways but you get the idea you get the idea this golf is way more comfortable to ride <laughs> surprisingly uh, i think this video is way too long already no one except me is gonna watch this video i believe this is just my little video you know for myself that many years in the future i could look back and remember this little car that i drove for five years and made 50,000 kilometers that's it not much else to say they don't make them like they used to <laughs> thank you for watching have a nice day goodbye